Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me for another tutorial today. Okay, we are going to continue our journey with our lovely new Dinkles. So I am using some watercolour card today and we're going to be also using our mystical sprays along with the Dinkles. So I hope you can see that lovely shimmer that we've got there on the background and that is simply down to the mystical sprays. So let's pop that to the side and get started. We've got our dinkles here in our tray. So I've got two different ones and all I've done is just watered them down into our pixie pots and now they're ready to use along with the uh, bumblebee. That's the colour I'm using today, but if you haven't got this colour, you can use other colours. That's absolutely fine. So this lovely bright lemon colour. I'm going to add a little bit of water as well. And now taking a brush, I'm going to start adding some colour. But it's such a quick, easy and achievable way to create a background. A bit of pink down there as well. You literally just let the colours do all the work themselves. Add a little bit of water. And I think I'm good to go on that. I'm going to dry that off. And now we're ready to stamp onto that. So I've got my lovely fairies here and I've got our nocturne. So let's ink those up. Make sure that each one is completely covered. Just keep going over the top. You can normally see when you hold it in the light the, the, the sheen over the top. So you can tell which areas aren't covered. And now we're going to pop our lovely fairies down onto the card. Now give that a good press. Remembering this is watercolour card so it's a little bit more texture. So we need to leave that stamp, just sit on there for a while, let the ink soak into the card. I want to get as much detail as we can of those fairies. There we go. Let's pop that to the side. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the of flourish up, working its way up and hanging down. So I've got my warm breeze. And if you haven't got this flourish, you can use whichever one you like. And now I'm switching over to the Twilight, which is a darker colour, just to give it a little bit of depth as well. 
So using two different colours, one lighter, one darker, will automatically give depth to your card. And I'm going to do some hanging down as well. Now you can use a different stamp for this or you can use the same stamp. I just think this is a really nice versatile stamp that you can use either way. I'm taking a stencil brush. I'm just going to work my way around the edge. Again, just giving a little bit of depth to the card. Pulling your eye into the centre there. So, working all the way around. Well, I'm using dark denim here. It's one of the darkest colours that we've got. So, but if you haven't got this one, just pick a dark colour that you have got and work your way around the edge. Like so. Now we're going to use the stickles. So I think it's copper this one. Yep, this is copper. And I'm literally going to just follow the foliage down. So it looks like it's all hanging down over the top. And equally we can do that on the other side as well. Lastly, I am going to use some of the white Posca and give that a bit of a shape. And then just tap it until that white, those white little orbs come out. And give it a little bit of magic. And that's it. How quick and easy was that? So you've got two different ones there again, two different colours, but equally both really nice, effective. Can you see that lovely shimmer that's coming through? And that is from the Mysticals. But they work brilliantly with the Denkles. So if I can hold them both up to you guys. Thanks so much for joining me again. And uh, I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. You take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.